Now to Insight, 32 million people watched China's 2-0 loss to Australia in last month's Asian Cup quarterfinal. That shattered the previous record of 23 million for a match in 2013. That underscores just how much the sport of football is gaining popularity in China. Hopes are high that the national team will one day win a major tournament. In part two of a CCTV series, Lionel Donovan looks at how those aspirations are starting with some of China's very youngest. Oh, man. Ah, I'm getting old. Well, in order for football to be more popular here in China, it's important for kids to get out, have fun, and play the game. But unlike other schools, the intensive training that goes on here gives off the impression that football is more than just about having a good time. Although there is a rich football culture in Yunnan, there are also difficulties. The difficulty in many of our schools in nearby village or towns don't have a football pitch, so the students don't have a place to train. Our football foundation is very poor. Many of the kids don't like football because they don't know anything about the game, and they also can't play the game because they don't have anywhere to play. Meanwhile, in addition to not having anywhere to play, the lack of capital is another obstacle that limits the development of youth football training. Training young people needs a large amount of investment, but it hardly gets any feedback, sometimes zero feedback. This is why the systems used to train young players are struggling in China. But with the resurgence of football popularity, maybe there will be more investment flowing into the sport. But will that solve the problem? a huge amount of money flowing into the football sector with absolutely no coordination or understanding of where it should go or how it should be used uh, to build sustainable activities. Will we have a constructive system and a sustainable system uh, that makes football fun for millions of kids, that leads into a pyramid and we create a healthy, a healthy pyramid for Chinese football? I have to say, based on previous experiments, I am not optimistic. First, we should encourage our kids to go to the playground and make sure they have one hour for sports every day. If every kid could do one hour a day, three days per week, the rest of the days could be used for other sports. Then the football, basketball, volleyball and table tennis communities would be huge because we have a lot of young people in the country. We have 200 million children. If 10% of them played football, that would be 20 million. If we had that many people playing sports, it would be easy to improve our results. There is a huge difference. People abroad treat football as a way of life, a way of happiness. As a career, a kid can grow up happily in. That's how they see the sport of football. Schools and parents should be more open to the sport of football. They should fully support their children who want to play, and then there would be more children who would like to participate in the sport. A strong football population is a basic need in developing the football community in China. But things won't work without choosing real talent properly and grooming them for a professional career. In the next episode, we'll take a look at how talented kids should be picked.